Hi friends, let's talk about Mormon tea. It goes by different names, including Brigham tea, joint fir, or joint pine tea. It's been used for at least 7,000 years, but many say as far back as 60,000 years. As a medicine, it's used for sexually transmitted diseases, colds, kidneys, disorders, and a few other conditions we're gonna go over. The tannins in Mormon tea have a drying effect and can reduce body secretions like mucus. And that's what makes it effective in preventing asthmatic attacks and wheezing. There is some controversy about the ephedra plants, that they may contain an active ingredient called ephedrin. That is used in many over-the-counter decongestions, and it's a powerful stimulant and can be addicting. And it's resulted in a number of deaths that led to its decline and popularity and use. The plant we are talking about today is Ephedra nevidensis. It does not, and I'd like to repeat, it does not contain ephedrin. The plant that you would not want to use that contains ephedrin is Ephedra sinica, and it is also known as Mahuan, and it does, again, it does contain ephedrin. So today we are talking about Ephedra nevidensis. It's a small shrub that is native to Western North America. And these plants have been used for thousands of years in traditional medicine as a remedy for colds, congestion, coughs, and allergies. It has a strong stimulant property um, in the certain tannins and alkaloids that make it behave in a similar way to amphetamines. I use it in a sinusitis tea that includes Mormon tea, marshmallow root, golden sea seal root, chaparral, burdock root, parsley, lobelia, and cayenne. The Echinacea and Golden Sea Seal are just really good in this mixture for the taste, on my opinion. So with all the explanation on the ephedra plants and the difference between them, ephedra, um, nevidensis, which does not contain ephedrin, versus the ephedra sinica, also known as mahuan, which does con contain ephedrin. A lot of people seem to mix up Mormon tea. You would need to do your due diligence to make sure you were getting the correct plant. Regardless of which version you're using, it's important to only drink the tea in moderation because it is quite powerful. Pregnant women, nursing mothers should not use this. And those with heart issues should use it in small amounts. Um, this should not be dangerous, but there are some reports of va palpitations, vascular palpitations, and other effects when used in larger quantities. Please do your due diligence, research, and talk to your herbalist and talk to your doctor or your medical advisor before using this. If you have any questions, let me know. Like, share, and follow. Stay healthy, friends.